Let's start. The project name is Notifications. Let's see the project structure. At the app level build.gradle file, write this plugin. Here we have the main activity, a notification model class that has different attributes of notification, and a notification manager class that generates different kinds of notifications. And in the UI, we have an activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have different buttons to create different types of notifications, like default simple notifications, big text, big picture, large icon, and pending intent notifications. Let's see the Kotlin code now. In the notification model class, we have different attributes of the notification like notification ID, title, content, icon, etc. These are the imports. This is the Notification Manager class. These are the data members of the class. To create a notification, we need to create a notification channel first, so this channel name, channel description, and channel ID are used for that. Here we have implemented the singleton object creation pattern so that we can have only one instance of this class throughout the app life cycle. And as we instantiate the object, we call the init function. Here we call the create notification channel function. In the create notification channel function, this is how we create a notification channel. The create notification function creates a basic notification with a title, icon, and some text. As you can see the parameter of this function is the notification model class. This function is called from the main activity, and while calling this function, we design the notification model according to our needs and pass it into this function. Then we extract the required attributes from the model one by one as shown here. The model class is used just so that we don't have to write a function with 10 to 15 parameters at a time. This function actually shows the notification on the device. This function sets the notification in big text style format. In this format, we can write long texts in the notification. This function shows an image inside the notification. This function sets a large icon for the notification. This function handles the pending intents of the notification. A pending intent defines what happens when a notification is clicked. Like opening some activity or starting a service, etc. Here we have mentioned the main activity as the pending intent, which means when the pending intent notification is clicked, it will open the main activity. The auto cancel attribute is set to true, which means this notification would disappear as soon as it is clicked by the user and the pending intent is delivered. This function cancels a particular notification. For that, we have to mention the notification ID in its parameter. This function cancels all the notifications. These are the imports. This is the main activity. The activity implements on click listener interface, which has a function called on click that will handle the click event of the buttons. These are the data members. The executor service would be used while showing the large icon notification and big picture notification to handle the image processing in the background, as it is a resource intensive job and can cause the app not responding error. In the onCreate function, we set the onClick listener of all the buttons. Then we set the notification manager, executor service, and handler. When the default notification button is clicked, we first load the model class with different attributes and then create a notification. When the large icon notification button is clicked, we first load the model class with different attributes. Then we execute the executor service, which creates a background thread. In this thread we convert a drawable image into the bitmap format, then load that image in the model class, and then create a notification. When the big picture notification button is clicked, we first load the model class with different attributes. Then we execute the executor service, which creates a background thread. In this thread we convert a drawable image into the bitmap format, then load that image in the model class, and then create a notification. When the big text notification button is clicked, we first load the model class with different attributes. Here you can see we have written a long text in the big text attribute. Then we create a notification. When the pending intent notification button is clicked, we first load the model class with different attributes. The pending intent, which is the task to be performed when a notification is clicked, is mentioned in the Notification Manager class. Then we create a notification. Let's run the app.
So that's it. That's how you can create different notifications in Kotlin Android. Thanks for watching.